Hey everybody, Kanan here, welcome back to another gaming video, and today we are back in War Thunder, and yes, um, we are back on the Japanese tech tree. I know I've been playing a lot of the Chinese and Japanese tech tree, um, and I still haven't gone yet over to the German tech tree, although today I decided it'd be fun to play some air RB battles for the Japanese tech tree. Um, the aircraft that we're going to be trying to research today is the A6M5 Atsu. As you can see, we have 11,000 research more, or more research points um, left, and hopefully we'll get it in today's video. Um, today I'm going to be primarily playing on the A6M5 and also our premium vehicle, the B17. Um, without further ado, let's go ahead and head into battle. I guess I'll load it on the A6M5 first. Okay everybody, I am going to be a little bit rusty as I haven't played War Thunder for uh, a little while, um, but I was very excited to play today because it's been a little while since I've played War Thunder, but this is the city map. I actually like this map. I'm not sure if I've actually played this in RB Battles before. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I have. And so hopefully this will be a good one. This will also probably be a little bit of warm-up for me as well. Alright everybody, my A6M5 is not exactly the fastest plane here. Um, I'm trying to chase down this ME264, although we're a little bit too slow and a little bit at a lower altitude. So um, I might have to hold off or try to strategically um, cut them off. They've been going on... I hear something. Okay, they, oh, somebody else. I was about to say, they're going on bombing runs all over our bases, so looks like this um, other aircraft is probably going to apprehend them, so I'll let them to it, even though we are close to them. <laughs> you know, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, whoops -a daisies um, Well, at least there wasn't really a lot of enemies there anyways. Um, I had wing overload, and... Super stupid, very preventable. Um, I don't know why I didn't pull out the dive, but we're dead. <laughs> Anyways, um, what a very unsuccessful first round. I'm going to do another uh, another round with the A6M5 for practice, and if that one's good, I'll try the B17, uh, because it's a premium vehicle, and uh, stupid me. Oh, okay, we don't have the A6M5. Guess we'll do the B17. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's somebody else with the B17. <laughs> that is real funny. Okay. Um, we have two people with the uh, Japanese B-17, so that is fun. Um, but, anyways, I think I've already told the story of how I bought this B-17 because, well, um, I got a PlayStation card, and uh, for some reason I wanted this vehicle um, on the PlayStation, and I got it. So now I can play it on the PC. But anyways, um, let's try to go to this point over here and hopefully not get shot down. Okay, we're approaching the target. We just passed over another B-17, and we exchanged fire with each other. So I guess I'll open the bomb bay, and here comes the bomb bay, but not India. And we'll hopefully get our target. I don't think there's any enemy fighters around us yet. And so, come on, we gotta get right on there. And then spam all six of them, because why not? I guess we'll go now. There we go. Uh, bombs away, everybody. <laughs> And let's just turn back over to the base, because um, nothing much more I guess we can do. And hopefully we get that. I forgot, I'm not sure if I have a key assigned for the uh, bomb view. I don't know, but I guess it'll be cool to see from the air, <laughs> hopefully. And kaboom, we got the base gone. And just like that, um, I guess we have uh, just the airfield left, so... Since I don't have any more, I guess I'll try to go back to our airfield and land. Um, and oh, our airfield is also a target as well. <laughs> that is great. But um, there's nothing else we can do now. <laughs> and flaring, and there we go. Uh, we are down on the ground, and it looks like we're going to run out of tickets soon. Um, so. Might as well at least try, try to get back there, but uh, we both have our airfields open, so... Oh, hopefully we'll get there in time. Oh no, we lost even though we both had our uh, airfields up. I think it's because there was less people on our team. Um, we still got, of course, that from our Golden Eagle aircraft. As you can see, um, we have only 8,000 more to go, so I guess I'm going to try the B-17 again, and I might switch between the A6M5. Uh, but very good. Alright buddy, there's nobody around, and this time I'm just going to try three. 
um, and see if that'll do anything. <laughs> Hopefully so, um, just in case so I don't waste the amount of bombs that I have um, to try to get the other target possibly, but I'll just try three and see if that'll work. All right, as you can see, it's not quite there yet. Uh, oh boy, here comes uh, a lot of enemy fire. Um, I might try to go back around and put two on there, because that might do it. Um, then if not, I'm going to have to use all six of them. Uh, I've got a critical hit on this B-26 here. <laughs> We're just sort of uh, exchanging shots at each other. Alright, everybody, maybe I'll just try one and see what one does. But hopefully one will do the trick. And kaboom, we've got it destroyed. So we have... I'll just know for next time, maybe try four, possibly. There was a little bit of extra damage, I think, due to um, another teammate, but I'm gonna try two. I might try to go to that already damaged one. I got a critical hit on this Corsair here. So hopefully that'll turn him off for a little bit. Um, thankfully, we're still alive. I'm trying to reach this other target, but there's this, just this Corsair that's just been following us. No, you've got to be kidding me. The F4 Corsair got us. <laughs> uh, we at least got a couple of hits on them, which is good. It looks like they're stalling. I'm going to fight till the end, though. Get the Corsair as well. Looks like we're a lost cause now. At least we got a couple hits on them, and fortunately we couldn't get those last two. But, oh well, that's just the way it is in War Thunder. And unfortunately we're falling to our death now, so this is just great, isn't it? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, <laughs> that is too bad. At least we got 1.3 tons there and a couple of hits on this Corsair. Um, still an all right run, so I guess I'll return to the hangar. Uh, and maybe just for funsies, I'll do another A6M5 um, flight. And we'll go back to the, um, as you can see, 21,000 Silver Lions and 1,000 um, research points, which is very nice. And we the mission is still in progress. So we'll probably get even more. Um, just for fun, while we wait for that, let's play the A6M5. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess really is pay to win. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like the Golden Eagle vehicles. <laughs> or the premium vehicles, my bad. Premium vehicles. Oh my goodness, just from the wingtip, we're... Okay, we're dead. That sucks. Um, oh well. <laughs> that really sucks. Um, this is one... Oh, okay, never mind, now they're dead. Big problem, um, with my aircraft. Uh, everybody can outperform me, so that is too bad. And, uh, yep, that's a wrap for the A6M5. Um, let's see if we have our results back from our previous B-17 mission. Um, which it doesn't look like. I don't think so. Oh, yep. And look, we only have 3,000 more research points left. Um, I'm going to use the cheater way. Well, not the cheater way because I bought this. Um, but the B-17E, um, of course, for the Japanese tech tree. Makes sense. So let's go ahead and go back to battle with our premium vehicle. And hopefully this will give us enough research points. Um, this does say that this is effective um, through ranks 1 through 5. So um, that'll pretty much bring me all the way up to the early jets <laughs> um which is very funny so i guess this could be a grinding vehicle as well um would i recommend it i guess probably not unless you if you enjoy the uh, gimmick of it being a japanese b17 but um oh well i have it <laughs> so i'm gonna use it um this is berlin so i'm gonna try the same strategy again go for that same um target area and probably only lay down four and then put two on the next uh um target all right, buddy, we're going to put precisely four down. So, one, two, three, four. Now, let's hope for the best. <laughs> and, oh, it looks like we're going to need one more. So, I'll put one more down there. And then, I guess, try to put another one on that. And then, try to go back to the base. Well, this was stupid. I over... I miscalculated the, uh, the target for the bombs. And, well, uh... <laughs> I did try to do emergency dive, then there is a bunch of aircraft that got on us, and we're gone now, so uh, that kind of sucks. 
Okay, everybody, this is the Core Sun map. I'm pretty sure it's what it's called. And it looks almost like the same layout as Berlin with the targets. So let's try to go for it. And I'm pretty sure after this, it should pretty much give us our A6M5. Um, just based off of the last match, which is really stupid. So I'll just know to put five down and put one on another target. Then try to head back to the airfield. Okay, everybody, we are just about over the bombing target. I'm going to put five down this time to make it count. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. And oh my goodness, that is so stupid. I forgot to open the uh, uh, the bomb bay door. Uh, okay, hold on. We're going to have to circle back around. Um, uh, I usually remember to open it before, but I was too preoccupied in doing nothing. <laughs> Whoops, the daisies. Okay, let's go again. So, one, two, three, four, five. And those weren't directly on center, but let's hope for the best anyways. <laughs> and we got the base destroyed. I wasn't paying attention, but we got it. Hooray. <laughs> okay, here goes one more. Let's hope this is actually on target. Boom. And, well, we did some damage to the base, and it's destroyed. So, that is good. We got two bases destroyed, and it's just me and this other lone B-17. I don't know where he is at, but I guess it's now just going to be a um, cat and mouse game. We're at 21,000, and they're all at, like, the surf level there. I bet you they can probably find enough time to uh, uh, catch right up to us, but um, I don't want to go back down there just because I'm probably going to get destroyed. So just for funnies, let's just try to stay in the air, maybe try to get above these clouds here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so funny. Somebody ordered the, the blind hunt on me because <laughs> they're trying to find me, but I'm at 28,000 feet. So everybody can probably see where I'm at now. Um, so good luck climbing to me. <laughs> they're getting impatient. So that's funny. Somebody wasted one of their, their things. That is hilarious. <laughs> and we've passed the 30,000 feet mark. Um, the ceiling altitude on this is uh, 36,000. So I'm going to try to climb to that. Um, just prolong this as much as possible for them <laughs> to make it even more agonizing. <laughs> this is very funny though, because I'm pretty sure I'm the last person alive. And so that is interesting. We're going to, of course, lose. Objective completed. I, Okay, I don't know what that did, but okay. <laughs> oh, now we have another target there, which is that Spitfire. And it looks like they're climbing for us based off of the distance that we're getting here. So uh, that is interesting. I got a free 5,000 lions for that. This is funny, we both got our smokes on right now, <laughs> um, as you can see, and they're trying to climb up to us, but it is very funny, it's just cat and mouse chase. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am reaching the end of the map, there's 1 minute 30 seconds left. This is absolutely hilarious, I'm just wasting everybody's time, as you can see here, they both see me, so that is fun, I suppose. I'm not sure if they'll reach me in time, or if we'll run out of time on the map. Or the map, the match. But I'm not sure if they've given up or if they're still going for me. <laughs> well, GG everybody. There's like 15 more seconds left. And I just let these players out on a wild chase. And so that is very funny. There's both of them right there. And I guess there's nothing else to do now. There's five seconds left. And we have lost due to time. 
<laughs> this is so funny. I just I just let them <laughs> chase me for a long time. And well, rank four. That's okay. Interesting. But GG, everybody's. I think we have now have our A6, M5, Atsu. And yes, we do. And I'm not sure if I have enough lions to actually buy. I have enough to order it, but I don't think I have enough money to actually uh, replace it. But that is still good progress that we have gotten the A6, M5, Atsu. Um, I guess we might as well research something else as well. Um, but that's, that is very, very funny. Our last match, successful <laughs> in a way. Alrighty, everybody, so that was a lot of fun. I don't usually play bombers a lot, except for now, especially because we have, well, I've had this for a long while, the premium B-17 on the Japanese tech tree. Um, I'm happy that I've gotten the A6M5 Atsu, but I'm pretty sure I will not have enough to, um, yeah, 45,000 more silver lions. I don't have enough lions for that. Um, I'll for sure have to... Uh, save up the money for that because um, I don't want to make this too long of a video. I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching along. I suck in the A6M5, um, the regular 5.0 A6M5, but I had a lot of fun today in our uh, premium B17, especially at the end. That was just funny to lead them off on a wild uh, cat and mouse chase till literally the end of the match. Um, but I had a lot of fun regardless, and I hope you guys did as well today. Um, if you did, please be sure to give this video a like, and also if you want to see more videos like these, also, please be sure to subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!